He didn't change it. He did not change it. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Good mythical morning. Oh, Link, I see that you're admiring my very stylish and extremely comfortable winner's jacket. I wasn't even looking at you. You saw that I was admiring it <laughs> I, through I, the I back could, of my head. I could feel it. What I saw the way you've been looking at me this morning. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's it's, definitely it's, looks it's comfortable. so great. I can't wait to, you know, I got to take it off to play this game, but I can't wait to put it back on after I retain my title. Oh, don't speak too soon, man, because I can't wait to just nestle inside of that thing. It's very comfortable. I could tell. Did I say that? I could tell. Did you see? You did, did, words don't do the comfort justice. My posture looks comfortable, right? Let's talk about Costco. Okay, you can find Costco's all over the world, but primarily here in the good old U.S. of A., <laughs> where our motto is, we love food, we love stuff, and bulk. Now, you got a lot of mouths to feed. You, you like shopping at Costco? <laughs> um, honestly, no. I, I'm... I don't like shopping from pallet racks because it reminds me of my engineering job. I had a lot of pallet rack work. Interesting. Um, yeah, you know, what, you know, I was not expecting warehouse? that answer. Okay, <laughs> Costco has some crazy secrets hidden up their wholesale sleeves, and we're about to have those secrets revealed. Put your hands together for the politest golf clap you ever did clap because it's time for <laughs> Pick and Putt Costco Edition. Welcome to the putting zone, Caddy. All right. Thank you, Cade. Hey, you, you, you don't want to play with that thing on? No, it's a little restrictive. <laughs> uh, I get it. All right, just like last time and just like the average human, our putting green has three holes. And we're going to be asked a question about Costco, and we're going to indicate our answer by putting down the mythical fairway into one of those answer holes. Uh, once again, it's not a fairway, it's a green. But like regular golf, each hit we count makes... <laughs> Make counts as a stroke. I think I had a stroke. No, but I hope not. But unlike regular golf, putting into the wrong answer hole will give you two penalty strokes, Ooh. and whoever has the lowest score at the end of the game wins <gasps> possession of the coveted winner's jacket, which I've been sleeping in every night since the last time we played. And I've been coveting constantly. Okay, I've got the red ball. Link oh, has the oh, blue oh, sorry. No, that ball. Makes me... Whoa, goodness. <laughs> I was just going okay? to show it to you. and He's I a little amped up. <laughs> didn't feel my hand at all. Stevie, what's the first question? In 2013, a man and a woman met in a specific section of a Costco. Uh, Months later, the man proposed to the woman in that very same section. Then, in December 2014, they got married in that exact same spot. This gets weirder and weirder. Which section of the Costco did these savings-loving lovebirds meet, get engaged, and eventually tie the knot? Was it the candy section, the frozen food section, or the baked goods section? Okay, Rhett, you won last time, so you're going first. Go on, get on up there on the, in the tea box. Okay, well... I'm thinking about single people. I haven't been one for quite some time. You got a single... You think single people only go to certain areas of Costco? Well, no, you got to think like a single person for a second. You're single, but you want to be married. So maybe, you're a, little, maybe you're a little bit sad. And so where do sad people go? Definitely the candy section, because that's doesn't pick me up. But frozen food, you know, you're on the move. You're trying to make things happen. Of course, we've not yet pointed out that Chase- Oh, that's, oh, Chase is, is here. Is swinging <laughs> a wedding cake. He is. Uh, a wedding pendulum. Yeah, we're going completely human power today. Great job, Chase. I'm going for frozen food, which means it's risky because I got to go right through the middle. Oh! He didn't change it. He did not change it. Yes, he did. No, he did. Yes, he did. No, he, he didn't. It was totally going that way, and then he completely reversed it. I'm sorry, Rhett, but you have to go from there. It was, it was very. Are close. you going to do the same thing on Link? Yeah. The thing that I don't know what you're talking he, about. Chase, I know you didn't do anything. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Uh, okay. Is you just blocking it with your heel? Is that legal? Uh, I'll allow it. All right, so that's two strokes. Now you're down to three. And finally, three. Frozen food. I didn't, see, here's here's my thing with frozen food. I, if they met in the frozen food section, I don't think they would want to craft a ceremony there. It's just not the place that you want to hang out. So I think it's baked goods. I just feel the romance, the yeast rise in the dough. You know what I'm saying? I'm going for baked goods and a little bit of a bank shot. 
<laughs> so fast. Huh. That was a little too hard. I don't know why I hit it so hard. Well, because you know Chase was going to try to hit your ball with yes, his cake. Yes, I was trying to go through the cake. <laughs> now, um... Oh, this is a risky shot. I mean, yeah, can is. you get across there and make it? Because fate would now say candy. Well, but you didn't go with fate last time. You did. And you won. And that's just a hard put anyway. So I'm going with fate and candy. Hey, all, all right. right. Okay. In December 2013, Robert and Meredith Bonilla met while shopping at a Costco in Santa Maria, California. Mm. Enraptured by Meredith's cowboy boots, Robert asked her out on the spot. Months later, Robert proposed to Meredith via post-it note attached to a bag of shrimp. Before you know it, these two were getting married atop a wooden pallet altar in Costco's frozen food section. Well, shrimp! Shrimp aren't candy. <laughs> or baked goods. Stevie, is this just a lunch break? We usually don't get those on this show. This mm. is a thematic tie-in to the question that I'm about to ask you. I like it. Yeah. They got great pizza at Costco. While you probably know all about the famous Costco food court hot dog, their food court pizza has a very dedicated, almost cult-like fan base as well. And did you know that every pepperoni pizza made at Costco has the exact same number of pepperonis? How many pepperonis are on a Costco pepperoni pizza? Is it 45, 60, or 75? Now we've got some nice ramp-like pepperoni wedges here for you to navigate. How many slices of pizza on a pizza? I think maybe eight. Man, so if it's eight slices, I don't know, I feel like there's about six or seven pieces of pepperoni. Pepperoni. <laughs> you know, you got a little pepperoni, that's when it's just a little bit smaller than a regular pepperoni, so a little bit more fits. Eight times six is 48. Eight times seven, what's that, 56? Shoo, man, we got 45 and 60. It's definitely 45 or 60. All right, make a putt. The problem is, you gotta be really, really, really slick to get to the 60, because you got to go, oh man, you gotta go behind that piece right there. You don't have to stay down here for that. So you are going for 60. I'm going for 60. Oh, man, that was good. I kind of wanted to see you hit one of those pizza slices, but in two strokes, he has answered with 60. I counted seven slices on my slice. You mean seven pieces of pepperoni? Four times three is 12, times seven is 84. Where are you getting 12 from? I think it's 62. And I'm gonna use these slices to my advantage. You're gonna try to hold and want it. Heck yeah. Off this and off that. Heck yeah. So close. So close. You know, I know what it feels like to get a hole in one. Yeah, it's I, exhilarating. I, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it makes us all run around in circles. Oh, you're going left hand. Careful. Don't make me nervous. Okay, all right. We both are in 60 and two. Okay. Though you might think there's no such thing as too many pepperonis, Costco believes the perfect number of pepperonis on a full 18-inch pizza is no more and no less than 60. Yeah. Yes. That's ooh, right. Ooh. Quick reminder, if you want to grab our latest quarterly collectible item, it's the Cloak of Mythicality. You got to sign up for quarterly or annual third degree mythical society plans by September 30th. So end of this month, get on it to get that cozy cozy. All right, what we got here, Stevie? Prepping for doomsday is no longer just a hobby for crazy Uncle Ronnie or Rhett. Yeah. It's for soccer moms and dads now, too. Which is the real Costco Doomsday Prep offering? An entire year's worth of canned food for up to four people with a shelf life of up to 25 years, a 70-gallon Hydropod emergency water storage kit that will provide a family of four with a 14-day supply of fresh water, or a department dedicated to custom home designs such as sheds, garages, and even emergency panic rooms. I feel like I sh I I'm actually kind of ashamed that I don't know about what Costco offers in this area. Uh-huh. The year of food thing, I mean, I could see them offering that, but- it's a lot of bulk. But it and feels it, like a low hanging fruit kind of thing. Let's just sell them a year of food. I mean, they could do it themselves, but let's just say that it's for a year. It's a resale thing. Hydropod definitely is something that exists. I just don't think that they have a whole panic room section. Okay, throw your ball down there. And of course, 
we got this amazing ramp, which leads to a like a reverse Plinko backside here. Man, I feel, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda go for the middle like I'm going for Hydropod, because I think that's a pretty good answer. And then if fate sends me to Year of Food, I'm gonna take it. If fate sends me to Panic Room, I'm not taking it. I'm going back to the Hydropod. Hmm. Whoa, okay, where's it going? Close to the Hydropod. I will say about the panic room, they said that it was just like building sheds and stuff, but also they added they could build you a panic room. Going with Hydropod. All right, two strokes. Boy, that that Plinko board, that was that was fun. It was exciting, wasn't it? The Plinko noise is also very exciting I to me personally. Don't want to be that guy that doesn't make it over. Uh, well, I think it's Hydropod. I mean, it has to be. Yeah, don't, you don't, don't, don't go too soft. Boy, it's dancing all around. Come back, no! Oh, no! You almost went to the and, panic room. You, know, you would not have been able to do anything it's, about it. Yeah, I would have just had to take it. Hey, take That's the an interesting thing hey. about the hole in one. But what about fate? Fate yeah. really wanted you to go to the panic room. I'm not gonna really go Really wanted you to go here. to the panic room. Yeah, it, all, it, almost, it almost took me there. Okay. We're both in the Hydropod. However the world may end, Costco's got you and your family covered because for under 5K, you can purchase an entire year's worth of food Seriously? all at once. This includes 600 cans of all vegetarian supplies such as Alfredo pasta, mac and cheese, cinnamon, sugar, oatmeal, beans and rice, and even chocolate pudding. I bulk, knew. man, we should have known. Well, Freaking we, bulk. I told you it was a good second choice, but uh, it wasn't the first choice and that's all that matters. Ooh, we got a loop-de-loop. Uh-oh. Check that out. Ooh, it's gonna require some gusto. Dangerous. All right, Stevie, what are we doing? It all comes down to this. In addition to the 785 Costco's around the world, there's also an extensive online Costco shopping center. Uh -huh. The most expensive item you can buy from Costco online is a 10 karat diamond engagement ring for $419,999.99. Almost what? half a million dollars? <laughs> Baby, I went all out, I went to Costco. I, yeah. didn't, go, I didn't go to Jared. <laughs> $400,000 ring? <laughs> and they only have one available. But what is the second, second most, most expensive. expensive Costco item? Okay. Is it an heirloom crystal grand chandelier featuring intricate cross stitching and Shh. hundreds of crystal pieces throughout? Okay. There it is. Boy, that is, that's very intricate. Is it an Oxford 121 jet seven person hot tub spa featuring next shoulder jets and a UV dual water purification system? That is a freaking dream. Man, I'd like to get in that thing. A little yeah. step ladder. I'd like to put some off-road wheels on it and just drive it around yeah, the forest. Yeah, right. Or a Mario Andretti signed 1969 Camaro pool table with real rims, tires, and working lights, not to mention genuine leather pockets. Speaking of putting tires on something, <laughs> Mario <laughs> Andretti put tires on to a pool table. That's, that's crazy that I premonitioned tires on something. You did. Uh, wow. All right, am I gonna do a lot of thinking out loud here? I you guess normally I will. do. You guess love to hear what it I sounds will. like. When I was just looking at chandelier, seven person spa and pool table, I was thinking seven person spa. But now that I see that chandelier and I see that pool table, I'm thinking the cheapest thing on that list is that spa. So I'm going for pool table, but the main thing I'm going for is just getting through the loop-de-loop -loop without embarrassing myself. Uh-huh. I mean, you really gotta ram it in there, I guess. Whoa. Oh man, you almost didn't make it. You're going square for chandelier, but it stopped short. That was not that was a not good. It, loop -de -loop. It, it, it did not stay. On, so I'm going over to the it pool counts. table. It's a long putt from a Galafla. And he sinks it. Shoo! All right. I mean, I know the Andretti thing is one of a kind, but I, I'm feeling like it's the chandelier. But like you said, let me get through this loop de loop in one piece. Whoa, that, oh, that was, was nice. Oh! Oh, oh. I was into the pool table! Boy, and I would have automatically won if you had to hit that. No, no, because it would have been one. Yeah, because I got there in two. Dang. Oh, man, See, we so would have tied. If, if, I, if I sink this, I just tie, and that's it. You have to go for chandelier. I got to go for chandelier. Whoa, this is almost a mathematically impossible shot. Look at this. There is a tiny little sliver of hole there. Wow. I mean, is... I might sink it into spa by accident.
Never before on national television has a man had to putt past another hole to get to another hole. <laughs> <laughs> he has a weird technique where he does something that most professional golfers do not do, which is he does three pumps. We've seen it a lot on putt pump. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, hey, hey, hey. If you make that and it's right, I believe you can win. I don't know how math I works. I think I can tie. And if we tie, you retain the jacket. So no matter what, I don't get the jacket, but I, but I know I can get close if I tie. So what is it? The second most expensive item for sale at Costco is the Mario Andretti signed 1969 ah. Camaro pool table, which will run you just under $20,000. $20,000. I actually think that's Great cheap. Threat. That's a big gap between the most expensive and the and the second most expensive item. Oh gosh. <laughs> well. Hey Mario Andretti, I'll see you on the weekend. You want it fair and square, right? Thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Kat. And I'm Kim. And here in Burbank, California, we have the two newest mythical hairless beasts, the skinny pig Scooter and Hopscotch. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. We could pet those little hairless things. They're right here in Burbank. Skinny pigs? Yeah. Click the top link to watch us try to guess if the Costco scandal is real or fake in your mythical morning. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. The next Mythical Society quarterly collectible item is the Cloak of Mythicality. Join third degree quarterly or annual plan by September 30th at mythicalsociety.com to get it.